didn't sound so good to me when you said this is for the kids. Never ran an event with any kids with involvement in liquor. That's just the way you said stated it. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm always supporting your functions with sports and everything. I've never uh, said no to your sports events, whatever. But when you have liquor involved, first of all, there should have been a designated area for the drinkers. I don't know whether that was involved in the package. But you should have identified that with the package. But you're, you're throwing it at us as if we're the ones that caused you not to have this event. And I don't agree with that. I'm just stating, stating that in a good way. Yes, sir. No, I'm not. I'm not saying it's town responsibility. All I'm saying is, I'm just asking if we could try to get through stuff at one time. That's all I'm trying to ask for. We could have done that if it was in the package, and then we could have talked about the liquor that's being um, um, uh, served, where it's being served, who's serving it, and who's actually monitoring. If there's young people there at that um, event, I sh I'm sure somebody would have got their hands on some something to drink, and then it would have been the town's responsibility. Private property, no property property. I'll tell you, I gotta chime in on that. Um, I concur with that. Um, at the very least, there is at least a shared responsibility. But I feel that you have just as much responsibility in this to make sure that you bring those items and concerns forward to present that to the town so that we can act accordingly. Well, that's what we're still debating about or lit well, litigation about as far as I think we acted accordingly because we honored the request that you brought before us. And then there's something that happened after the fact. So that's why you're back here. Somewhere along the line, somebody didn't cross the T's and dot the I. Well, that would be the, my responsibility. I'm the one that supplied the package. I thought that there was enough information in the package. Um, the board up here did not know about, um, I guess, the regulations. Yeah. There was someone in your office that brought it to our attention. I guess not letting you folks know what was um, in that regulation. Well, so originally when you made application, who did you see in the town for this, for you to come before us? Did Craig send you here? Uh, um, the lawyers? No, sir. We submitted it to Mr. George. Okay, fine. And so you were brought before us. Then who in turn found the mistake to give it to you for you to be here again? Mr. Trussell. Mr. Trussell, okay. But I was told the call came from the liquor board. Correct. It was the not the town. Correct. And so that's how the town got back involved. The liquor board is the one. And we have, uh, Norman is the attorney for the liquor board also. Wow. So Norman, I think our, our question is here, you have private property, property, but the town involved in what's happening at private property. What normally takes place in that and what should be done in the future? What should be done in the future is that I think the town is a public event. It's within the town limits, even though it's on private property. It's not like having a family reunion. It's a, they're selling tickets to bring people in. They're serving uh, alcohol through West's uh, catering thing. That's why it was stopped before and he was requested to have your name inside because they didn't get approval from the town to allow to have alcohol on the outside. And that's what happened the first time. This time they evidently did not ask for alcohol in front of the town and they never had the permission to do it. Right. And that they should come in here, if they're not having alcohol on the outside, uh, the, they should come in here and ask permission to have the affair outside and uh, or to serve alcohol also. Even though it's private property. Okay. Question. Will, would it be different if it were, say, a restaurant with a liquor license, say Bentley's? if Bentley's was resold and they decided to have music outside one afternoon or an event. Is that a different situation because they already have the liquor license? I mean, this is just for my own, so I will know in the future. <coughs> if it has a liquor license, I don't know. Um, I think they would have to come from the town to get permission to have the music outside. Okay. If, I'm not sure. And, and, I mean, it's probably only about this in town, which I think has a county. Is it in town? That's right, they get bored. But I'm saying that that's public property, not just for the difference. But I think that there's, there are town uh, rules and regulations as far as outdoor entertainment. Uh, but could they serve out white beverages out there without getting approved from the town? Yes, but it's public property. 
this is in the town. They would have to come in here and get an approval from the town to serve our program, just like the Fall Fest. We have Fall Fest down in Fall Fest. We have a roped off area and liquor is served and is identified who is using the cups. The cups are identified and the people are identified where they're supposed to be. Now it's plain and simple. So it's public. But, but, I'm, but if I'm saying is it different with public property or private property? So I'm saying the answer is no. No, the answer is no. So that's so what that. I, okay. Okay. You're on your own home and having a family reunion. It's different. You're not open to the public. So therefore, you don't even have to have an outdoor fire Thank you. Okay. Well, you know, that clarifies it. You know, we have no malicious intent here. We're trying to answer everybody's question. We're trying to come to you folks and ask appropriate questions. You know, I wasn't trying to sneak something in or. You know, we check IDs. You can ask Earl. We banded people. We did everything that was reasonable and appropriate. Our last event, uh, you know, Earl can verify that that we handled ourselves appropriately and according to regulations. You know, we're not looking for issues. You know, we're not. No, well, we just found out how we need to handle it the next time when something like this comes up again, so that we'll know we'll be aware of it. Okay. So, all righty. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. everybody. Thanks. Okay, Lewis. The first item I have is ordinance. I'll do it in sequence uh, with the uh, agenda. The first ordinance I have is uh, four. Four twenty ten. basically uh, ties into uh, the Elkins Zoning Ordinance Section 12 Supplement and Regulation Section 19 Festival Events, etc. The, the current code uh, calls for uh, reference to Chapter 47. Chapter 47 in the town code no longer exists. Consequently, the reference is made in Title 5, Chapter 5.04, which is the proper section. The, um, the ordinance amending uh, the zoning Code just provides for reference to the current ordinance. I would ask the board to uh, accept that for uh, adoption. Okay, do I have a motion to accept ordinance 4 2010? I'll make a motion to accept ordinance 4 2010 for adoption purpose. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Next ordinance is Ordinance 1, 2010, 2010. This uh, provides for Article 13 of the Elton Zoning Ordinance, essentially to provide for non-lethal electric fences. Uh, I'll read into the record uh, what the actual uh, language is included in this. Uh, under Section 8 of uh, Paragraph F on Section Article 13, non-lethal electrically charged fences to prevent trespass may be permitted by special exception by the Board of Zoning Appeals in the PI zone. Any request shall be uh, demonstrated the following. Use of security measures are necessary to safeguard the property against unauthorized entry to protect stored goods and products from theft or other unauthorized handling. Section B under A is reserved. Paragraph 9 is to be subject to the following <coughs> standards and regulations. Electric fences shall be constructed or installed in conformance with the specification set forth in the International Electric 